Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because we are going to be playing with the new ColourPop and Disney Bambi collaboration. I got this in the mail yesterday, which I was kind of surprised about because I actually reached out to ColourPop asking to be put on pause for PR uh, just while I worked through my anxiety and stuff. Um, that only lasted like three days because I realized that I kind of like need to create in order to get back into my routine. If this is your first time on my channel, um, I suffer with anxiety and panic attacks. I actually had one this morning. I'm gonna try not to cry, <laughs> but if I seem out of breath and kind of have a hard time finding my words, I took my panic medication this morning and it kind of gives me a little bit of brain fog. But I was so excited about this collection, so I really wanted to work on getting a video up. So that's why I am filming also um, sitting around just panicking and having anxiety just doesn't do me any good. So this is like a nice activity that I can do where I feel productive, but it's not like too strenuous or stressful. Anyway, that's just where I'm at. I just wanted to give a disclaimer. Oh my God, my voice. <laughs> Ah, uh, geez. So I thought we could go through the collection together and go through some swatches. And yeah, that's about it. Um, let's just get into it instead of talking about my anxiety because that will just probably make me cry. So I have opened everything. I did an unboxing on my TikTok. I will leave my TikTok link in the description box down below. I've been trying to upload there a lot. It took me a while to get into the groove of like making TikToks. It's kind of a tricky app to create content for, especially for me. I'm like a really late millennial. I call myself a zillennial. I'm born in 1995. So I Feel like I'm kind of in that weird space between Gen Z and millennial. So for me, I felt old being on TikTok and it was kind of hard to create for me, but I'm getting the hang of it. So if you want to follow me, the link is down below. So yeah, the whole point of that rant was that I have already unboxed all of this. It's still in the package. Like I haven't swatched anything because I wanted that to be a surprise, but yeah. So let's just get into the collection. The first thing I just, I have it in my hand. It's the Twitter Pated Lux Gloss Trio. I don't love the Lux Gloss formula, so I was considering giving this away, but the colors are so unique. I don't know if you can see them. Actually, I guess we could just open it. Also, I want to preface this by saying that I never watched Bambi as a kid. I'm an only child and I have a really strong attachment to my parents, specifically my mom. And as a kid, I could just not handle Bambi's mom dying. I just, I couldn't do it. So I've never even seen Bambi, so I won't get a lot of these references. Oh, that purple looked a lot darker in the package, I feel like. I don't I don't usually love the Lux Gloss formula. I feel like these are going to be super sheer. I don't know, but I should swatch them for the video. This top shade, it looks a lot darker in the viewfinder, but it's really quite a light purple. I don't know. I feel like they're going to be very sheer, but I'll swatch them for you anyway. I always think I'm going to give away the Lux Glosses because they're not my favorite formula. However, I just, I feel like I need to swatch them because this video wouldn't be very informational if I didn't, you know, if I just like was like, here's the glosses, you know what I mean? Next up, we have the Life in the Woods Cream Gel Pencil Trio. At first I wasn't sure if these were eyeliners or lip liners because the eyeliners are called cream gel liners. And if you look, this is more of a lip liner ColourPop packaging. Like for example, this is my favorite uh, lip liner from ColourPop. So as you can see, they are pretty similar packaging and I will get you a eyeliner for reference from ColourPop. So this is what the cream gel liner on the top usually looks like and then the bottom, as you can see, the packaging is slightly different, but I did look it up on ColourPop's website. These are eyeliners and I believe they are reformulated. So that's interesting. They are pencils versus the regular ColourPop eyeliners are usually twist up they usually twist up, you know? You don't have to sharpen these ones, whereas these new Bambi collection ones you do. So apparently they're a new formula, so we'll test that out. I just wanted to let you know all of that because I was a little confused at first. It doesn't have the prices of anything, but I do know that this collection is already available on the ColourPop website. I'm filming this on March 3rd, so as of now, this collection is available. So then it comes with a pair of falsies. I personally love ColourPop falsies. I feel like they're really slept on. Nobody really talks about them but they're so beautiful in my opinion this is in the style oh dear i'm not sure if that's focused it's hard to tell i think so um yeah these are so pretty i'm excited to try them and then we have the morning light highlighter it's 
kind of strange. I know they've launched one of these before. I can't remember what collection it was with though, but it comes with like a large puff. I already opened the product so you can see the product on there. And it's just like a highlighter that you like sprinkle out. It's kind of like more of a collector's piece, I feel like, because nobody's really gonna apply highlighter. Oh, you could do it on your body in the summer. That could be fun. I might do that in the summer. I really like that idea. So it's just like a really big tub of highlighter. I'm gonna apply it on the face. I'm not gonna use the puff on my face, but I will test this out on my cheeks. That highlighter just got everywhere. <coughs> I breathed it in. Okay, and then we have three little mini five pan eyeshadow palettes. We have a Bambi one, a flower one, and I don't remember the flower character like at all. And then we have the Thumper one, and I do remember Thumper. I don't know why that matters, but you open up the Bambi one, it is neutrals. And it makes sense. It matches the character. Very pretty. It has a nice gold in there. And then we have the flower palette, which is all purples. This is the one I thought I was going to be most intrigued by. It is very beautiful, but then I opened the Thumper one. This color story really gets me. This is the Thumper one. Wow, that's so pretty. I don't know. I don't know why I love this one so much, but I just do. I just dug my nail into that one that's annoying but this is the thumper palette i don't know why i'm just so drawn to these colors with that pop of green i don't know what it is but that is just so pretty to me so yeah i will zoom you on in and we can do some arm swatches and then i can do a demo and do a whole look with this collection okay i thought we would start off with the lip glosses don't mind my lips they're a little bit chapped and they're still scarred um when i get anxiety and panic attacks i pick all of the skin off my lip until it bleeds. I was able to finally go to a salon and get my nails done, which has been really helpful because I can't pick at skin, but they're still healing. So just a disclaimer, just letting you know if they look a little funky, that's why. So these are the three glosses. They all look like they're gonna be very sheer and they all have quite a bit of sparkle to them. Also, I wanted to mention that as of now, everything is still in stock, which I find weird because I feel like all of the Disney collabs with ColourPop sell out really quickly. Okay, so the first gloss that I'm going to swatch is the shade Bambi has the typical Tootsie Roll scent. That's what I think they smell like anyway. This one is described as a sheer warm nude. All of these glosses look the same. I'm always disappointed by the Lux glosses. I far prefer their uh, ultra glossy lip formula over these. I hope they don't discontinue the ultra glossy lips. Okay, so that is the shade Bambi. It's just, it's super sheer. It's described as a sheer warm nude. I guess maybe, but it's so sheer you can't really tell. It's got some goldish green glitter, but it doesn't really show up on the lips. Okay, next up we have the shade Thumper. Colourpop describes this one as a sheer pink. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to see this one on my lips either. Oh. You kind of can see it a little bit. It's very uh, early 2000s. I feel like the frost in this one is really showing up. So this is the shade Thumper. Again, not a lot of color. It just kind of lightened my lips a little bit, but the light gold, I'd say, yeah, I'd say it's like a light gold and silver shimmer. You can definitely see it shine through. I'm not sure if it'll pick up on camera, but in person, you really can see the shimmer. Like it looks pretty frosty. And then finally, we have Flower, and this one is described as a pale, frosty lavender. Again, can't really see it. It could be the pigment on my lips as well. I do have pretty pigmented lips, I guess. I feel like you can kind of see the purple. It kind of gives a purple tint. I think this is my favorite one out of the bunch. Honestly, I just don't see these being worth it. All three of them look the exact same. This one has lavender and gold and silver glitter in it. But I would say this one is not as frosty as the what one was this? Thumper. Yeah. Also, obviously ColourPop kills it on packaging. We got the little skunk on this one. I'm not sure if it's going to show up because it's really reflective, but you have the flower character on this one, Thumper on this one, and you have Bambi on this one, which is super cute, super nice touch. Also, I love the lime green. It's very springy. I'm so excited for spring. Spring is my favorite season, so I'm really ready for it. I feel like this winter has been really rough on me with the pandemic and my mental health. I'm chatting a lot. Um, just because I don't really have anyone to talk to right now. So I'm sorry if this is gonna be a long video, but yeah, 
Uh, I can kind of see the purple coming through. I'll swatch them on my hand so you can see it like on a more muted base. Okay, so here are the glosses on my hand. Here we have Bambi, here we have Thumper, and here we have Flower. As you can see, all three of them are very sheer, the most pigmented one being Bambi. They're just super sheer. They all look kind of similar on the lips, but maybe if you don't have a lot of pigment in your lips, these might be a fun option for you. Okay, so now moving on to the cream gel liners. No, what are these? Cream gel pencils. They're different. Okay, so first off we have the shade Meadow. ColourPop describes this one as a matte butter yellow. Ooh, that's pretty. I think I might have something similar from ColourPop though. So this is Meadow. Ooh, I really like this one, that's beautiful. This one is called Purdy and it is a matte plum. That's a beautiful color, I really like that. Wow. And finally we have the shade Raindrops and ColourPop describes it as a metallic icy rose. I would honestly just describe it as a true rose gold. Very beautiful, all three of them. Okay, so I tried to go through my ColourPop cream gel liner collection, which is pretty extensive, and try to find some dupes that you may already have in your collection. And this is what I came up with. They're not very good. So I think the cream gel liner set is pretty unique. So the top row, we have the trio set from the Bambi collection. And then the dupe I found for the shade Meadow, this is Extra Frosting. So if that's the only one that you're really interested in, that is a pretty good dupe. The other two are not really similar. This is Piggy Bank, it's a lot brighter. And then this one is called Get Paid and it's a lot more bronzy, not as much rose. Just in case you were looking to see if you already had something similar in your collection, I personally didn't, so yeah. Okay, and finally I wanted to give a hand swatch of this, this big guy, what's it called? Pixie Puff Highlighter. I always forget what they call these things. It looks like it's a rose gold-ish. Oh wow, it's very sheer, not a lot of color payoff to it, which is definitely up some people's alley for sure. I feel like as a body highlighter, this would be really pretty. We'll see about it on the face, but I don't even know if it's showing up on camera. It's very sheer. It just comes off like a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of sheen. You can kind of see it there in that light, I feel like. Yeah, it's pretty hard to see. There's not a lot of color payoff to it, but we'll see how it applies on the cheeks. Okay, and now for the fun part, let's get on to some arm swatches of the eyeshadow palette. Actually, before we get into that, I just wanna give you some of the prices because they are a little bit pricey. So the five pan eyeshadow palettes retail for $14 each. The cream gel liner kit retails for 24. The Lux Gloss Kit retails for 27. Oh, I feel like that's quite pricey. The entire collection is 115. You can get the, oh, you actually can get the liners individually. They retail for $8. You can also get the glosses that retail for nine. $9 for a lip gloss, I feel like that's kind of getting up there. The Pixie Puff Highlighter is $16. Oh, that is not in stock, by the way. There's a couple things that are out of stock. I mean, I kind of understand why this collection is a little bit more on the pricey side because they have to pay for the Disney branding. So I do understand in that sense, but that is a little bit pricey for ColourPop. Just saying. Okay, so I thought we would get started with some arm swatches of the eyeshadow palette. This is the Bambi palette. Packaging with ColourPop is always on point. So beautiful. One thing I will say is I don't love the rectangle pans. It's kind of hard to get like a fluffy blending brush in there. It's just a petty thing, but it's just something that I thought I would note. So the first shade we have here is called Little April Shower, and it is described as a pale matte butter yellow. Next up, we have the shade Feline. Faline, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, and it is described as a warm metallic yellow. Next up we have the shade Young Prince, and this is described as a matte yellow brown. I really like that shade, it's kind of mustardy, it's really pretty. Next up we have the shade Kinda Bashful, which is described as a matte warm chocolate. And finally we have the shade White Tail, which is described as a blackened matte brown with gold and silver pinpoints. That last shade, White Tail, is a sequin formula. All of these shades are suitable for use on the immediate 
my area. Next up we have the flower palette and look how cute she is. Oh, I just love her and the packaging is so cute. This one is the purple toned palette. So the first shade we have here is called So Shy and it is described as a metallic opalescent violet. Honestly, I see the violet a little bit, but I would describe it more as a metallic white with a pink shift. I don't even know if the pinky violet is going to show up on camera, honestly. Next up we have the shade Pretty Flower and it is described as a matte warm lavender. I think the warmth to this shade really adds something unique and I think it's so pretty. Next up we have the shade Oh Gosh, which is described as a metallic lavender with a gold shift. I love these types of shades. I think they're so beautiful. Then we have the shade Little Stinker, which is described as a deep matte violet. That is such a cute name. Ugh. And that is a very beautiful color. And then the last shade is called Hibernating and it is described as a matte black with silver and violet pinpoints. It reminds me of MAC Beauty Marked Eyeshadow from way back in the day, but like way more pigmented. So out of the entire palette, this shade here called Little Stinker is not suitable for the immediate eye area, which is likely due to the fact that it probably stains. And finally, we have my personal favorite color story. This is the Thumper palette. Look how cute he is. He is adorable. So the first shade here we have is Miss Bunny, which is described as a metallic pale silvery pink. Then we have the shade Friend Owl which is described as a soft matte warm taupe. Then we have the shade I'm Thumpin' which is described as a metallic icy moss green. I think this is why I love this color story so much. This green paired with the cooler taupes, it's just so up my alley, I love it. Then we have the shade Long Ears, which is described as a matte cool tone taupe. And finally, sorry for the shape of that swatch, I'm not really sure what happened there, uh, but we have the shade Great Big Feet, which is described as a slate gray with pink and silver pinpoints. I tried to lengthen the swatch so you could see it a bit better, I'm not sure if that worked. But this is the Thumper palette and all of the shades are super for use around the immediate eye area. Okay, so now that I have done some arm swatches, I thought it would be fun to do a quick eye look. I'm gonna use my favorite palette, the Thumper palette. It's so cute. I pretty much know exactly what I wanna do, so let's just get started. I'm gonna first dip into this shade here called Friend Owl. I'm taking this on a Sigma E40 and I'm just going to blend it in the crease and take it upwards as a transition shade. Also, I wanted to mention during my arm swatches that everything swatched super beautifully. Every shadow was really quite soft and pigmented. I didn't have any trouble with any of them. So I feel like quality wise, you would be safe getting any of the palettes that speak to you. I just thought I'd mention that. Then I'm gonna go into this darker taupe shade called Long Ears and I'm grabbing it on a smaller brush. This is a Morphe E17 and I'm just going to apply it to the outer corner and kind of drag it into the crease just to add a little bit more depth. Also, my eyelids are super dry right now. So if the shadows are looking a little bit textured, it's just my eyelid, it's not the shadows. I've been crying a lot recently because of my panic attacks and it's dried out my eyelid area, so. That's what's going on there if you were wondering. I'm sure no one was wondering, but I can really see it, so I just thought I'd mention it. And I'm just going back in with that first brush and I'm just blending everything out. Then on that same brush, I'm gonna take this shade here called Great Big Feet, and I'm just applying it really close to the lash line on the lid just to add a little bit more depth. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of cut crease action. And then I'm going to start off with this shade, what's it called? Uh, Miss Bunny, the light pink. I'm just grabbing this on a Fenty 220 Precision brush. This brush is so underrated, I love it. And I'm just going to apply that to the inner half of my lid. And then I'm gonna go in with the green called I'm Thumpin' and I'm gonna apply that on the remainder of the lid. I feel like the pink and green color combo is just so springy. I love it. And then I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth 
to blend the two colors together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply some liner and do my base makeup and then I can come back and we can do the rest of the face and test out the rest of the products. Okay, so I've done my base makeup and kind of finished up my eyes. I used eyeliner and mascara and yeah, now I'm gonna move on to the lower lash line and lashes. For the lower lash line, I think I'm gonna keep it rather light. I'm just gonna dip into this shade here, the Friend Owl color, and I'm just gonna run that on my lower lash line. I use the Too Faced Born This Way concealer today. And this one just creases on me so bad some days. Today is one of those days. I don't know why it creases so bad on me some days and then like not as bad on other days. I really, I have no idea. Okay, so I just applied that on the lower lash line, kind of smudged it out for some subtle definition. And I thought it would be fun to use the rose gold. Oh my gosh, my nose just got so itchy. Ugh. But I thought it would be fun to use the rose gold on the waterline so it can kind of like play off the pink that I have on the inner corner. We'll see how it goes. This new formula is rather nice. Nice and smooth and creamy. I wonder what the difference is, like if it's supposed to be longer wearing or creamier or what, because the cream gel liners before were already pretty good. I don't know if I love that. I feel like it kind of makes me look like I have pink eye, but I'm gonna leave it. Kind of wishing I went with the light buttery yellow color, the meadow shade. Just gonna go in with some lower lash line mascara. This is the NYX Cosmetics On The Rise mascara. I really like this one. Okay, and now for false lashes, we'll use the style Oh Dear. I'm excited for these. I love ColourPop lashes, man. My orange. I was orange. If your inner corner keeps popping off, just keep putting it back and eventually it'll stay on. Tip of the day. That's a really pretty style, I like that. I'll zoom you in so you can see it better. That's the style of lashes. They're really pretty, I like those a lot. That's the style, oh dear. ColourPop puns, they never disappoint. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna apply blush today. I'm just not in a very blushy mood, so I'm going to highlight using this big old guy. I thought it would have a scent, but it doesn't appear that it does. I've never used a loose highlighter like this from ColourPop, so we'll see how this goes. I don't like it. I don't see a difference. It adds, oh, that was a lot. Oh boy. It's also too deep for me. Oh boy. That's not good. <laughs> that is way too deep and like way too orange for me. Oh, I look orange now, crap. I look like I have an orange stripe on my face. So not for pale skin tones. Uh, maybe if you're a little deeper, you might like this. I don't know what to do. Oh, you can really see it there. Oh no. Um, we can fix this, maybe. <laughs> maybe if I just kind of like brush it off a little bit. And then I'll use my tried and true uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay and Exposed and hope that covers it up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. That definitely helped a bit. I'm actually gonna add blush to try and cover this up a little bit and kind of like buff it out. I'll be honest, I really didn't think that that highlighter was gonna take that turn. I thought I was gonna really like it. This looks insane. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, it is what it is. I'm just gonna take it off soon anyway. Okay, let's see if I can kinda... Oh boy, no, that didn't work. Oh no. I feel like that looks quite a bit better, actually. Damp sponges are the solution to everything. Kind of just picked up the product. That was very stressful. Oof, crisis averted. Okay, and now I'm just lining my lips with ColourPop BFF uh, lippy pencil. Hi. Hey. McDonald's. You got me fries? Wow, thank you. Yum, ski doodle. I wanna go with one of these too. Do I wanna keep it cool tone? Let's go with the purple. Let's get a little funky in here. Even over a lip liner, you still can't really see the purple, but I still think it's a pretty gloss. Okay, friends, and this is the completed look. I really like how it turned out. I think the eyes are really pretty and perfect for spring. I can only speak on behalf of the Thumper palette because that's the only one I used today, but the quality was there. It was good. The Flower and Bambi palettes both swatched really, really well, so I would definitely recommend those. It's just about kind of like what you're 
color preference is. The glosses, I'm not a fan of the formula personally, but if you are a fan of the formula, they are a bit sheer as you guys saw. So like, I don't know if you need all three. I mean, you can totally decide that for your own, but they are really quite sheer. I think that's important to note. The false lashes are really quite pretty. I love them. Super excited about those. I love ColourPop lashes. The eyeliners, I didn't notice like a huge difference from their regular cream gel liners. I'm not sure what the difference is supposed to be. It could be longevity. I don't know. I'll have to look more into it, but the quality is definitely there with these eye pencils. I think that all the shades are unique and they're very pretty. So these I would definitely recommend. The highlighter could be fun if you're interested in something like this. If you have fair skin, I would say skip it unless you want it for like a little decor, like collector's piece maybe, but it just did not jive with fair skin tones. So maybe if you're a little bit deeper, you would really like something like this. But for me, this was just a miss in general. However, maybe in the summer, I might like to, you know, do one of those. I feel like it could be good for this. So I'm not writing this off as a complete dud, just not, not a good face highlight for me personally. Also, it was a little bit glittery, which I personally don't like, but you know, some people might, so take that for what you will. And yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I think this video is gonna be a little bit long, so I'm sorry about that. What are your thoughts on this collection? I would love to know in the comments down below. And yeah, I think that's it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet. If you don't wanna subscribe, that's okay. I just really appreciate you watching it helps out my channel so thank you please leave any video requests you may have in the comments down below and i will see you in my next video bye guys